name is Arkhenjan Alif. I'm from school gymnasium number seven, named after Kali Romanova. My teacher is Makashova Karkus. So my topic is a memory. So why did I decide on this specific subject? Because technology plays an important, thing, an important role in our modern life and excessive use of electronics is a problem that affects people all over the world, especially teenagers and children. What effects has the overuse of technology had? Lack of concentration, low levels of attention and concentration uh, to lead uh, to memory problems and other cognitive abilities. So, what is memory? Memory is our brain storage and recall system for information and express experiences. We have, uh, we have three types of memory, sensory memory, short-term memory and long-term memory. Sensory memory is the earliest stage of memory. Uh, generally, uh, for no longer than half second for visual information. Short-term memory is a limited amount of information can be kept temporarily up to a few minutes in cons consciousness. So the third one is a long-term memory. This memory is a permanent memory storage with almost unlimited capacity where you can use is all your lifestyle. So how can we improve our memory? We should to use mnemonic strategies in order to memorize and remember new things and new words. And the best and the most important thing, uh, thing in, is exercising uh, your brain. You should to learn new language. You heard about how important exercise is to keep your body healthy, but what about your brain? It's a learning new skill, process new information, and complete a task that's challenging. So, about my experience, about my experience, or how I can improve my how I improve my English level skills. So, I used to cycling of six tours the first one is a dictionary dictionary when you learn new words use mnemonic strategies and dictionary the second door is a listening here you should to listen music or watch tv show where when you can okay the second door is a listening when you should to listen to music or watch a TV show and use mnemonic techniques also and uh, you can also here use your shadowing, shadowing technique. The third door is a grammar. Grammar is a when your teacher explains to you grammar in English. You should to understand this one and do some practice with it with yourself in, or with your examination. Examinator. The fifth door is a writing. Here you should to use all. Uh, you should to use all information from here and write your story. The fifth door is a reading. Reading here you should to read uh, a text, a lot of text, and uh, you should to find some synonyms or antonyms and. Uh, to and translate it with yourself or with uh, examinator to understanding how how to understand the whole text. So the last one is a presenting skills speaking. When you should to present yourself, uh, present yourself uh, in your in your levels and uh, speaking with a native speaker maybe. Yeah. And here you should to just like improve your speaking skills a lot of. So all of the cycling six doors can can help to me. They help to me improve my English level. So also keep your mind fit. We should to get up, create sleep, learning new skills, 
and eat heart healthy diet and work out at least three times per week and perform daily mental health. One key to a good life is a healthy mind. So, best memory training apps. That's why I use a Bubble Dumb, Bubble Dumb or Quizlet. Here I use just like for learning new words and uh, improve it, improve my workout. And uh, in Bubble Dumb, it's like you just like play and learning new words. But in Quizlet, you should. Uh, here's a sim similarity, but in Quizlet, you can learn something another or s learn new skills. Yeah. So last one is a Pomodoro timer where I I used also because Pomodoro timer really is productivity for your whole time for your whole for for your whole lifestyle and do more productivity and and if you want to learn new language uh, faster faster you should to use Pomodoro timer. It can help you. So, in conclusion, I want to say language learning improves your working memory, improves your attention span, and building builds new connections in your brain. And Pomodoro Tracker is a productivity app designed for your work and study, stay focused, and finish task effectively. And I truly recommend to you use Pomodoro Tracker in your lifetime uh, because it's a really productivity and effectively task. You should do it. And language learning is uh, one of the most effective to brain workout out there. Okay, thank you for your attention. Goodbye.